I'm Mary LeCourcier from the Nantucket Historical Association, and today I'm bringing you tips and tricks from the 1800 House program. The 1800 House is year-round workshops that focus on historic decorative arts, but today I wanted to do a project with you that you actually have all the materials in your house. And this is a great project for anyone at any age, so I hope you enjoy it. The last few years I've actually taken to letter writing because my inbox in my mail and my email is full of mostly junk. And I think the hand handwritten letter is a really a way to go. And nothing gets your attention faster than a great envelope. So today we're gonna show you how to make an envelope. So let's start out with, I just wanna show you a few samples of some things that I think are really great. Envelopes can be made out of just about any kind of paper. Here's one that's just a really beautiful, um, looks like a historic paper. Here's another one that's from the funny papers. Remember those guys? Or you can use a historic photograph. See, here's an old photograph, and I've made a really sweet little envelope out of that. And then, of course, there's maps. Maps are one of my favorites. Here's a map envelope, because what's great about a map, it's two-sided so that when you open up, surprise, inside, besides, you have tons of maps. Go to your car. Get those maps out that you haven't used because now you're always using your Google Maps. And then, of course, there's great papers, historic papers. These two pieces are from the NHA website, the NHA archives, and they are historic papers from uh, ship log journals. And they just make a really great envelope. And I thought I would just show you, even though you don't have these, but just about any kind of paper with a texture and a color is going to make something of interest. So in your downloadable materials, I gave you several sizes of envelope templates. Just print them out and cut them out. So here's your envelope template along with a, um, an envelope liner. So sometimes you're gonna wanna use an envelope liner. It's really a fun thing to use. Now, the other thing you can do is if you have an envelope around or you got something in the mail recently that you love the shape, just deconstruct the envelope by opening it up. And when you open it up, now you've got it. Now you've got a template. So there you go. Okay, so once you cut out your template, I then suggest that you transfer it to a stiffer kind of paper, a cardstock, piece of cardboard. Because what's going to happen is over time, as you trace around it, it's going to lose its shape and it's gonna get a little beat up. So you wanna have something that's got a little bit of body to it. My favorite thing to use is actually a piece of sandpaper. Sandpaper is a really great thing to use because it's, it's got some body to it, it's stiff, and when you actually put it down on your paper, it doesn't move around. This is an old quilter's trick. So when you're cutting fabric, this can go down face down and it's a really great thing to trace around. So the first thing you want to consider is your face of your envelope. So on your envelope, you've got obviously an area. So when you're picking out your paper, decide what area you want on the front. And on your envelope template, it's this big square area, and the top is going to go to this, the top flap. Here you can see it a little bit better. This is going up, and this is the top flap that you open. So today I thought I would love to use this. This is a piece of fabric actually that's been scanned. It's from the NHA archives and it's uh, an illustration by Tony Sarg, who is a famous guy here on Nantucket. And he actually is well-known artist and illustrator. And one of his claims to fame is that he designed the Macy Day Parade balloons. So that's among many of his talents. But I wanted to use this because I have a friend, Stacy, who's a big fan of this guy. So I thought it would be really good to make an envelope and send her something in the mail. So I'm going to use this one for my envelope and I'm gonna use this one for my liner. Okay, so lay your templates down, decide where you're gonna go. I'm gonna to want to capture this fellow on the front and probably this fellow just at the top of the inside of the flap. So place your templates down in those areas trace around and cut them out. So that's what I've done here. So here's my envelope. I'm going to turn it over and lay it face down. And I'm going to fold the two small flaps in on each side first and I'm going to give it a nice little finger press. Okay. And then the bottom flap. The bottom flap is shorter than the top flap and the top flap has that nice rounded point. So fold those all down and give them a good, nice crease. Then you're going to take a waste sheet. 
that's what this is here, which is also a rescued catalog from the dump. But I'm going to actually take this and glue against it. So what I want to do is I'm going to use a glue stick, but you can also use double-sided tape. You can use Elmer's glue, a little tougher to use, but use what you have on hand. And the reason I'm going to use a waste sheet is because I don't want to get glue on my work surface. I don't want to get glue on my paper where I don't want it. So I'm just going to run a, a quick bead of glue on these two sides of this, of this short flaps. And then I'm going to set this aside. And every time you use your your um, your waste sheet, use a clean sheet because there's bound to be glue where you can't see it. And I'm going to fold these two sides in and I'm going to fold the bottom in. I'll give it a nice little, little press it there. Then I'm going to take my envelope liner and I'm going to just slide it right in there. It fits really great. And I'm going to take these two and I'm going to fold them over together. Okay, give it a nice crease. Now open it up, put just a little bead of glue up here in the top. You could glue further, but it's really not necessary. Give it a nice, good press. And there you go. A fantastic envelope. Who wouldn't want to get a letter in this? So if you want to make a great envelope, here's all the instructions and all the templates. If you want to share them with us, we'd love it to see what you've made. Post it on at ACK History on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And Stacy, this is coming to you. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.